Sally here for another episode of Stoke City Weekly News, where we go through three of the stories that are floating about at the minute and speak about them a little. So going in straight into it, first one is Peter Crouch. Daily Sport have said he's set to leave in the summer, which is pretty understandable. He's game time, he probably doesn't fit a system anymore as much as he used to. Um, whereas the Sentinel have also said that he says he's still got a lot to offer for Stoke if he gets the game time. And he probably won't. He's not going to get as much games anymore. He hasn't played hardly this season. Um, and when he has, he hasn't had them scoring, that scoring form, touch, as he used to. Um, he probably still can do a job for someone. I could see him going to one of the sides that gets promoted to the Premier League or knocking it, it for knocking him in for a top championship club. Because, you know, he, he, he'll always have that quality about him because he's that sort of player. Um, it'd be, it'll be sad to see him go. I can see it happening in the summer. I can't see anything but him leaving um, at the moment. But, you know, it'll be, it will be sad to see him go. He scored one of the best goals I've ever seen at the Britannia against Man City. Uh, maybe one of the best goals I've ever seen in my life with my own eyes, like not on TV. Um, so it will be sad to see the big man go. And he's such a character as well. I'm sure it'll be mess, a mess in the dressing room. But that is football. He's not getting the game time he wants. He's not getting the game time he needs. Uh, and it's probably going to be the best move for all parties interested if it does happen, which he probably will. Uh, going into another story, uh, the Sentinel and a couple of other places have reported we're going to be looking at Yaku Meite, youth player for uh, PSG. Now, the only reason I think this story has come about is because he scored a decent goal this week. He scored a decent goal in the UEFA, the UEFA Youth League. Uh, against Chelsea, good bit of a screamer, but that is seriously the only reason I think we're being linked with him at the moment. Um, he's out of contract, or he's not signed a deal yet with the PSG. He's twenty years old, um, but he's not something that I can see really coming through. I think it's just paper talk at the minute. Can't see anything like that um, pulling off myself. And another one going into the last story is Alan Saint Maximum. A bit of a name, bit of a mouthful. But um, this guy has apparently said he's rejected or he's spoken to Bournemouth, Watford and Stoke. But he doesn't want to make some, some sort of mistake that he's made previously. He's got a lot of time, says he's young. Uh, he doesn't need to rush his, his decision to come to England. Um, again, I think this just could be agent talk, paper talk. Um, he's scored one goal this season for Hanover, I believe. Uh, doesn't look promising. He drove, uh, he drove a club car into a tram in Germany, uh, and then it, then they eventually found out that he had a fake Bulgarian driving license. So he doesn't sound like the greatest characters to have on board. Doesn't sound like um, he's all with it or he's uh, got got it going on up there. Uh, but then again, neither did people like Arnie when they first came to us. But as I say, don't think there's too much in either of those two transfer stories. Uh, this week so that is Stoke City News Dave's going to be doing some more videos for the rest of the week previews uh, etc now I am going to be going off to Barcelona now in the comments below as this video goes off I want you to say, say to me if you want to see a video of me watching the game there or whether you want to see that I'm going to watch Barcelona v Sporting Gijon if you want to see a match day video from there even though this is a Stoke channel you might want to see that I don't know another thing I'm going to do probably anyway as before we go into the Barcelona game, I'm going to find a load of Barcelona fans who can speak English and ask them what they know about Stoke. Because we've got this Barcelona connection with the both clubs, so that's why not just ask them and find out what they actually know about us and uh, if they've ever heard of an oatcake or how they think Bojan's doing, that sort of thing. So let me leave in the comments any ideas or any, if you do want me to do those sort of things, and I will. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.